How is a black hole formed? That's so simple. Amsum forms it. Oh, Amsum. In a star, huh? the inward force of gravity is exactly balanced by the outward force created by hot gases and radiation. When the star runs out of fuel, this balance is lost and the star's core begins to collapse under its own gravity. This collapse causes the outer layers to blow apart in a huge explosion called a supernova. Now, it is estimated that if a star has at least 20 times more mass than our sun, then the star collapses to form a black hole. Hmm. Why is Pluto not a planet? Simple, because now Amsum is officially a planet. Huh? Huh? Oh, Amsum! According to the new definition of a planet, a planet is a celestial body which is in orbit around the sun. It is spherical in shape and it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Now, Pluto is in orbit around the sun and it is spherical in shape. But unfortunately, Pluto has not been able to clear its neighborhood. As in, it has not been able to remove the asteroids and dwarf planets present around its orbit. Hence, it is not called a planet anymore. Why doesn't Earth have Saturn-like rings? Earth doesn't deserve those rings. Only Amsum does. Oh, Amsum. It's got to do with Roche limit. It is the distance at which objects tend to be ripped apart by the planet's gravitational pull. Now, in case of Saturn, it is popularly believed that a celestial body like Moon or Comet got too close to it and exceeded the Roche limit. Hence, it got ripped apart into pieces, thus forming its rings. <laughs> now, Earth also has a moon. But since it is beyond the Roche limit, it doesn't get ripped apart into pieces to form rings. Hmm. Why does Saturn have rings? No big deal. Amsum's rings are bigger. Oh, Amsum! One theory suggests that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a moon or a comet. Billions of years ago, a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn. Hence, the side facing Saturn was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Finally, these pieces might have started revolving around Saturn, thus forming its beautiful rings. Hmm. Why is Mars red in color? Simple. Because I painted it red. Huh? Oh, um, some. Mars actually has many colors. On its surface, we can see many different colors like brown, gold, etc. Then why does Mars appear reddish? The simple reason is that the Martian rocks, soil as well as dust, contain a lot of iron. This iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. Now, the huge dust storms on Mars kick the soil as well as the dust into the atmosphere. Thus, from a distance, Mars appears red in color. Hmm. Why is landing on Mars so difficult? No big deal. Amsum can land anywhere. Huh? Oh, Amsum. More than 50% of landings on Mars have failed. Huh? There are two reasons for this. Firstly, as Mars's atmosphere is extremely sparse, does not provide enough air for the parachutes to blow up and land safely. Hence, we need complex retro rockets to land on Mars. Secondly, even though Mars's atmosphere is extremely sparse, it is still capable of creating friction. Hence, we need additional heat shields to protect the rockets. As a result, the complexity of landing on Mars increases. Hmm. How is the moon formed? Simple. Amsum built it brick by brick. Oh, I'm some. According to the giant impact theory, Theia, a Mars-sized body, collided with Earth. This collision threw chunks of Theia as well as chunks of Earth's crust into space. Now gravity bound these ejected chunks and led to the formation of our moon. According to the co-formation theory, two similar-sized bodies collided twice forming an early Earth surrounded by a disk of material that then combined to form the Moon. According to the capture theory, the Moon was already formed. It was just snapped by the Earth's gravity while it was passing by. Hmm. What is a supermoon? No idea. But this is super-omsum. Oh, omsum. Huh? 
Supermoon is a full or new moon that nearly coincides with perigee. Perigee is the moon's closest point to the Earth in its monthly orbit. This results in a moon which appears larger than its usual size when observed from Earth. The technical name for the same is perigee syzygy, as in roughly straight-line configuration of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. The term supermoon is attributed to astrologer Richard Knoll. Out of the possible 12 or 13 full or new moons each year, usually three or four may be classified as supermoons. Hmm. How huh? was the asteroid belt formed? Simple. It was formed like this. Huh? Oh, um some. About 4.5 billion years ago, huh? our sun was formed from a huge cloud of gas and dust. Leftover cloud of gas and dust started spinning around the sun. These bits began to collide and stick together and slowly converted <laughs> into planets. But huh? still small bits of rocks were left over. These are called as asteroids. Most of these asteroids got pulled by Jupiter's huge gravitational pull and eventually formed an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Mm. What if Earth became half Uranus? Bring it on. I like being cold. Oh, um, some. Firstly, Uranus is four times wider than Earth. If Earth became half Uranus, homes on Earth's Uranus part will suddenly become super spacious. <laughs> hmm. Secondly, Uranus is an ice giant. If Earth became half Uranus, huh? Humans on Earth's Uranus part may keep on shivering. Hmm. Lastly, Uranus has 27 moons. If Earth became half Uranus, our moon huh? may get afraid and run away. Huh? Hmm. Why do astronauts huh? keep floating in the spaceship? They're not floating. They are swimming. Oh, um, some. In vacuum, gravity causes all objects to fall at the same rate. Hence, in the space station, the astronauts and the objects are also falling at the same rate. Now, as the astronauts and the objects are falling together, they appear to float as compared to the space station. Wait, but is the space station also falling towards Earth? Yes, but as it is moving at just the right speed, the curve of its fall matches the curve of the Earth. Hence. The space station keeps falling towards the Earth, but never hits it. Hmm. What if huh? Earth became half Pluto? No ways. Pluto is not even a planet. Oh, um, some. Firstly, Pluto is smaller than the Moon. If Earth became half Pluto, humans on Earth's Pluto part may have to live in extremely small houses. Hmm. Secondly, Pluto is considered a dwarf planet. If Earth became half Pluto, other planets huh? may start laughing at Earth. Hmm. Lastly, one year on Pluto is 248 Earth years long. If Earth became half Pluto, humans on Earth's Pluto part may never be able to celebrate their birthdays. 